Hey, good morning, you guys. Jesus loves you. So I want to share my first encounter with God. Um, I wasn't raised in the church, and I honestly was born into a really rugged situation. Um, lived in the ghetto my whole life, so, you know, I'm proud of where I came from. This struggle made me strong, so... Um, I just remember walking into these like duplexes or eight plexes and, and time just slowed right down. I seen my mom just kind of on the side uh, walking and it, time just slowed down. She just kind of stopped mid-step and so all of a sudden it was like, do you choose light or dark? And I just said, what is dark? And I just seen you with short, choppy hair, dirty face, no teeth. I was cold. Like, my clothes were inappropriate for the weather. Nobody wanted to help me. I was completely abandoned. I had nobody. There was nothing said. Like, this lady didn't talk to me. But I knew it was me, older. And I knew, I just knew everything. Um that it was my decisions that brought me there, nobody else's. That if I only accepted God, I wouldn't have ended up there. Um, I just knew all that stuff and then I just said like, ooh, shook it off, you know, like I'm five years old and I was like, ooh, like I, I don't want that, I want light and I just felt this string connect up and that's all I knew was that there was somebody up that was looking out for me and that they were the only one I could trust because you know I love my mom but bad things happened and I didn't blame her that she couldn't completely 100 protect me um, as no parent can we can never 100% protect our children we can only do our best and eventually we're just gonna have to help them pick up their pieces that's what life does so from that moment on I, I view it as like receiving the Holy Spirit where God would tell me things about my mom or about other people that I couldn't have possibly known and um, yeah like I rejected myself for a long time because a lot of people told me a lot of different things. Um, one of them was that um, to be careful of evil and I don't know, they just didn't ever mention any of the spiritual gifts in the Bible. Like for me, I always ask God why, like obviously timing, everything had to happen in its timing. But I always ask, like, they could have said something, you know, when I asked certain questions. Um, they would just get scared and make me scared of myself and make me feel like I was an outcast, like I was weird. Um, honestly, because of my life, I thought that I had the devil in me and everybody else knew it and I didn't. And I would just feel like, like I had some evil thoughts, you know, like that I wasn't worth it, that there's no point in living. Um, but somehow I would just still smile at people, still try to be kind. Um, I found being mean just made me feel worse. So, yeah. Um, I'm very grateful to have had God's voice my whole life because I've had it really rough and um, I've literally had a counselor tell me that I had the perfect environment to become a psychopath but didn't and that's God. I have honestly been scared of sh sharing my story because I'm not trying to shame my family or shame anybody. We've all come a long way and broken a lot of chains and we have a long way to go. 
We can't help our past, only change our future. So please, whatever you hear from my life, let it inspire and encourage in truth and love, but not out of malice, bitterness, hate, negativity, none of that. So let's just pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much that I'm able to share part of my story and I just pray that um, whoever sees this that they'll be encouraged to know they're not alone and that it is possible to hear your voice that you are right beside us as long as we just accept it just accept it fearlessly that you are here we believe Father God, we believe with all our soul, all our heart, all our mind. We love you with everything that we have, Father God. Without you, we are nothing. Without your breath, we don't exist. Father God, I just ask that you turn our stone hearts to flesh. That you... Block all and every lie of Satan. Block all and every plan of the devil in Jesus' name. The weapon may be formed, but it will not prosper against us. We can rest in you, for you are a good father, protector, provider, creator, holy one, righteous one, pure in all his ways. You deserve all the praise and glory. In your precious and holy name I pray. Amen. I'm tired now. No, I just close my eyes. Anyways, I hope you guys will have a blessed day. And just know that God is spiritual. And his word is true. <laughs>